Welcome to a quick peek into the Big Valley, a TV series from 1965. It's all about the Barkley family and their adventures in the Old West on their massive ranch. Get ready for a mix of feelings as you watch there are funny, surprising, and sad moments waiting for you. Keep tuned in to uncover them all. Have you ever thought about which character from the show you relate to the most? Who's your favorite among the bunch? Feel free to share your thoughts below. Or maybe the Big Valley has stuck with you over the years. Has it inspired you or made a difference in your life? We'd love to hear about it. So what's your favorite memory or personal connection to the Big Valley? Share your stories below. We're excited to hear them. Stay tuned for more insights into the Big Valley and don't forget to drop us a line. The TV series The Big Valley, which debuted in 1965, had a big influence on pop culture. When it aired, it grabbed a lot of attention and became a favorite show. People liked its interesting stories, colorful characters, and cool setting. During its time on TV, The Big Valley got lots of love from viewers and critics. Its mix of drama, action, and family stuff really clicked with audiences, making it a TV classic. The show's influence didn't stop when it ended. It inspired future TV makers and kept its vibe going with spin-offs. One big part of the Big Valley's impact is its spin-offs. The original show did so well that they made more stuff based on it, expanding its world. Also, it inspired all kinds of things you could buy, like toys and books, so fans could enjoy it even more. Plus, the Big Valley's influence pops up in other shows and movies. People have borrowed its ideas and characters, showing how it's still relevant today. To sum up, the Big Valley left a big mark on pop culture and is still remembered warmly. Its spin-offs, merchandise, and appearances in other media show how important it was and still is. In his career, Peter Breck, known for his role as Nick Barkley on the show, moved to Vancouver where he started teaching young actors about film technique. This endeavor eventually led to the establishment of the Breck Academy, an acting school he operated. Richard Long, another actor on the series, starred alongside Orson Welles in his first two films, Tomorrow is Forever and The Stranger, but they never collaborated again. This dynamic adds depth to their respective journeys in the industry. Audra Barkley, the character in the series, often found herself attracting unique admirers. She had a special charm that drew in people from all walks of life despite her family's wealth. Audra had a way of charming men who were a bit unusual. Some would come to the Barclay estate with strange gifts or big gestures, hoping to win her over. Others would sing to her under her window at night. James Whitmore, known for his role in The Twilight Zone, had a son, James Whitmore Jr., who also appeared in a later version of The Twilight Zone. Like his father, he was talented in acting and made a name for himself in the entertainment industry. He had his own style in the roles he played and received recognition for his work. Despite the pressure of his father's success, James Whitmore Jr. continued on his own path, determined to make his own mark in the world of film and TV. James Whitmore Sr. was part of two films nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars Battleground and The Shawshank Redemption. His performances in these movies left a strong impression on audiences and critics. He brought depth and authenticity to each character, making the films even better. In the history of Hollywood, the Whitmore family's talent continues through generations. Their influence on the silver screen shows their dedication and skill, creating a story that will be remembered for a long time. This is the beauty of storytelling where each chapter adds to the last, creating a rich narrative that captivates audiences and inspires future filmmakers. Set in the American West, the series follows the Barkley family as they navigate the challenges of running their ranch. Lee Majors, known for his role in the series, inspired the 1973 song Midnight Train to Georgia along with Farrah Fawcett. The show drew loose inspiration from the Hill Ranch in California, which was managed by Lawson Hill until his passing in Woody Union 61. He and his wife Euphemia raised four children, including three sons and a daughter. Barbara Stanwyck, another prominent figure in the series, graced the cover of the Electro Swing Revolution Ball, 4 CD released in 2013. This historical drama captivated audiences with its portrayal of family dynamics and life on the frontier. In the narrative of the Big Valley, James Whitmore, during his time at the American Theater Wing, crossed paths with Nancy Mygat, whom he eventually married. Mygat, serving as their press agent, became his first wife. Whitmore's career spanned various roles, including characters facing incarceration. Notably, in On Thursday We Leave for Home, his character resisted returning to Earth to maintain authority, while in The Shawshank Redemption, he portrayed a prisoner reluctant to leave confinement. 
The series initially featured a fourth Barkley son, Eugene, who appeared in eight episodes of the first season. However, actor Charles Bryles, who portrayed Eugene, had to depart mid-season due to military drafting. Despite Bryles' return from service, Eugene's character remained absent from subsequent seasons, with minimal references made to him thereafter. In the opening credits, viewers catch a glimpse of the Barkley house, which may look familiar to fans of classic films. It's the same house exterior used for Tara in Gone with the Wind. Linda Evans, who starred in the series, developed a close bond with Barbara Stanwyck, her co-star. Every Saturday, Evans would visit Stanwyck's house to rehearse scenes, forming a strong connection akin to a mother-daughter relationship. LQ. Jones, known for his role in Cheyenne, starred alongside Clint Walker as his sidekick Smitty. However, Jones was dropped after just three episodes, leaving Cheyenne to ride solo. This marked a significant moment in television history, as Cheyenne was the first hour-long TV western. In regards to the series, notable connections exist between cast members and other renowned actors. Bruce Dern, for instance, shared the screen with Samuel L. Jackson in several films, including Uncle Tom's Cabin, Django Unchained, and The Hateful Eight. Meanwhile, Barbara Stanwyck, a prominent figure in the show, delivered a memorable acceptance speech when she received the Sassel B. DeMille Award in 1986. She expressed gratitude to her television colleague Charlton Heston and acknowledged her privilege in working with DeMille. Stanwyck's performance garnered Emmy nominations during the show's initial seasons, with her first nomination resulting in a win. Barbara Stanwyck, often referred to as the best actress who never won an Oscar, showcased her talent in the Big Valley. Before starring in the series, she collaborated with Robert Young in two films Red Salute and The Bride Walks Out. Throughout the series, Victoria, one of the Barclays, remained the only member of the family who never endured a gunshot wound. In contrast, Heath faced the most, while Nick experienced being shot twice in a single episode. Barbara Stanwyck's noteworthy career and the unique dynamics among the Barclay family members added depth to the Big Valley, making it a memorable classic in television history. In the show, Linda Evans visited Richard Long during his last hospitalization due to his heart condition. Throughout the series, the entire family, except Eugene, has been involved in killing. Audra took the lives of two men in the first season, while Nick, Heath, and Gerard were responsible for multiple deaths. Victoria also contributed to the body count, taking at least two lives each season. Additionally, Richard Anderson wore a hairpiece for his role as Oscar Goldman in another series. However, in the case of the paper bullets and Runner in the Dark, his natural hair, which had significantly thinned out, was revealed. Barbara Stanwyck's career reached new heights with her role as Molly Monaghan in a 1939 film directed by Sassel B. DeMille. Initially, Claudette Colbert and Vivian Lee were considered for the part, but circumstances led to Stanwyck's casting. DeMille was particularly impressed by Stanwyck's professionalism and talent, ultimately dubbing her his favorite actress. This collaboration also marked a significant milestone as the film received the inaugural Palme d'Or Award, a prestigious recognition in the film industry. Richard Anderson, known for his role in The Six Million Dollar Man, also had an interesting connection to real-life government operations. While his character worked for a fictional department called the OSI, Anderson himself appeared in an orientation video for a genuine government department known as the OSI, highlighting the distinction between fiction and reality. Stanwyck's career continued to intertwine with other notable actors, including Linda Evans. Their collaboration extended beyond the Big Valley to another popular series, Dynasty, where they showcased their talents once again. In a particular episode of the series, Victoria Barkley, portrayed by Barbara Stanwyck, revealed that she had lost both her parents at a young age and was raised in a foster home. Interestingly, this storyline mirrored Stanwyck's own childhood experience. Lee Majors, another actor in the series, faced three distinct whippings throughout the show's run. These scenes occurred in various episodes, including one in a Mexican jail, another in a penal camp, and the last at the hands of a religious sect. Stanwyck, known for her humility and generosity, garnered praise for praising Anne Margaret during her Golden Globes acceptance speech, showcasing her tendency to uplift fellow actors even in different contexts. This anecdote reflects Stanwyck's reputation for acknowledging and appreciating the work of her peers. Since Peter Breck passed away in 2012 and Charles Bryles in 2016, only Lee Majors and Linda Evans from the Big Valley are still alive. Barbara Stanwyck, famous for her role in the series, was part of the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals during the McCarthy era, along with Ginger Rogers, Clark Gable, and John Wayne. 
Bruce Dern, another actor from the show, acted alongside three generations of actresses Tippi Hedren in Alfred Hitchcock's Marnie, Melanie Griffith in Smile and Mulholland Falls, and Dakota Johnson in The Peanut Butter Falcon. The show's surviving cast members are remembered for their roles in television history. James Gregory's wife occasionally sang with the Cordettes. It's been reported that Barbara Stanwyck was allotted a certain number of designer dresses per season for her role. She would then give one of these dresses to her screen daughter, Linda Evans, feeling no mother would dress so well without allowing her daughter to do the same. Stanwyck's marriage to Frank Fay ended after a drunken brawl in which he threw their adopted son Dion into a swimming pool. Their divorce was finalized on December 30, 1935. Dion became estranged from Stanwyck in February 1951, and their relationship never recovered. Despite his famous mother, Dion maintained silence when questioned by the press. He was reportedly left money in Stanwyck's will with the condition of never speaking publicly about her. Influenced by Gary Cooper's screen presence, Richard Anderson pursued acting, with his initial screen test mirroring Cooper's role in The Cowboy and The Lady. Lee Majors, credited as Heath throughout the series, carried an air of mystery as the possible Barkley heir. Barbara Stanwyck's advocacy for William Holden in Golden Boy launched his career, culminating in a touching moment at the 50th Annual Academy Awards when Holden publicly thanked her, evoking tears and applause. The dynamics among the characters and the actors' performances made The Big Valley a memorable series. Barbara Stanwyck made a big impact in Hollywood. She was really good at acting, which got her noticed, and even ranked as one of the greatest screen stars. She showed off her acting skills in lots of different types of movies, like serious ones such as The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, and funny ones like Meet John Doe, Ball of Fire, and The Lady Eve. Even though she was nominated for Oscars for her funny movies, she didn't win any. Stanwyck's fame still lasts today, with clips of her old movies appearing in trailers like Hollywood Mouth 3. She's still celebrated for her work in the entertainment world. In old videos from a military training movie, James Gregory shows up without getting credit. His tough appearance makes the scene feel real. Heath's horse, named Charger, became really popular because of its loyalty and strength in the series. Barbara Stanwyck, in an interview with journalist Ron Miller, said her favorite leading man was her second husband, Robert Taylor. She remembered working on three movies with him very fondly. Their on-screen connection was obvious, pulling viewers into their world of drama and romance. Their partnership still means a lot to fans of old movies. This bit of Hollywood history shows us how talented people worked together back then. Bruce Dern appeared in five films alongside Jack Nicholson. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre, Psych Out, The Rebel Rousers Drive, he said, and The King of Marvin Gardens. Lee Majors starred on two TV series simultaneously, playing Jess Brandon on Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law, and Colonel Steve Austin on The Six Million Dollar Man. The Big Valley was the first series from four star productions to be filmed in color. In every episode where Nick is a spectator in a court case, he interrupts the court to speak his piece, which always gets him in trouble with the judge who is presiding. This became a comedic element in later episodes, as viewers anticipated Nick's inevitable outburst. Despite its popularity, the series was canceled because networks were phasing out westerns in favor of more modern television shows. Richard Anderson is one of the very few actors to play the same regular character on two different series simultaneously. From 1976-78, he played Oscar Goldman on both The Six Million Dollar Man and The Bionic Woman. Leo G. Carroll, Martin E. Brooks, David Hasselhoff, and Fred Thompson are among the other actors to have done this. In The Big Valley, Peter Breck appeared in both the original 1963 version and the 1995 revival of The Outer Limits. He played different roles, such as Senator Orville in 1963 and James Kendall's father in 1996. Richard Anderson made television history by playing the same character in two shows on different networks. When The Bionic Woman moved to NBC in 1977, he became the first actor to do this. Bruce Dern's role in The Cowboys was notable because he was one of the few actors to kill John Wayne on screen. This portrayal even led to Dern receiving death threats. These unique experiences highlight the diverse talents within the Big Valley's ensemble cast. Barbara Stanwyck, a famous actress, left a lasting impression on television history with her role in The Big Valley. Her portrayal of a strong character was a turning point in westerns, introducing a tough female lead that audiences loved. The show gained more attention when it became a comic, showing its widespread appeal. This mix of TV and comics highlighted the character's strength, captivating viewers and readers. 
It was Stanwyck's amazing performance and the innovative storytelling that made The Big Valley a beloved classic loved by fans for generations to come. In the 1965 TV show, one interesting thing is Peter Breck's character, Nick Barkley, who's famous as the quickest gun in TV history by Wildest Westerns magazine. Breck could draw his gun really fast, setting a great example. Barbara Stanwyck, another important person in the show, has a strong impact on movies. She starred in four films recognized by the Library of Congress for being important to culture. Some of these are Babyface, The Lady Eve, Ball of Fire, and Double Indemnity. As for Lee Majors, he showed talent not only on screen, but also in sports. Majors was a star athlete in high school, and Middlesbrough High School honored him by naming their football field after him in 1986. They also put him in their Sports Hall of Fame in 1991. These three people made significant contributions to the Big Valley. Richard Long shares his middle name with Chuck Connor's character in Branded, which started airing at the same time as the series. Barbara Stanwyck, known for her role in Double Indemnity, received praise for her performance. Bruce Dern's first appearance in a Western was in an episode of Wagon Train, where his character met a fatal end, similar to his fate in The Hateful Eight over 50 years later. These actors, each bringing something special to the genre, made their roles interesting and enjoyable. They continue to influence new actors and filmmakers, showing how much people still love Western stories. Their work shows how appealing stories about the American frontier can be connecting with audiences over time. Their performances, remembered in TV and movie history, show their talent and the popularity of Western stories. This story, part of American entertainment, still interests people, reminding us how stories can connect us across generations. In Hollywood, as everywhere he went, Frank Fay did not make a lot of friends. A standard joke of the time when who's got the biggest prick in Hollywood? Answer Barbara Stanwyck. The womanizing alcoholic Faye's career floundered, while Stanwyck's flourished for decades. In 1935, the two were divorced, and Faye continued his downward spiral until 1944, when he was chosen to play Elwood P. Dowd in the original New York City Broadway production of Harvey. Peter Breck, Lee Majors, and Linda Evans were said to be huge fans of hers as little children. As adults, all three co-starred with her in the hit Western series. James Whitmore appeared with Keenan Wynn in five films Angels in the Outfield, It's a Big Country, an American anthology, Kiss Me Kate, All the Brothers Were Valiant, and The Deep Six. She played a significant role in the lives and careers of her co-stars, who admired her both on and off screen. Their shared experiences in Hollywood paved the way for their collaboration on the acclaimed Western series. After its pilot aired, Linda Evans, who later became a prominent figure in the show, met John Derrick, her future husband. He was intrigued by her and reached out to the producers to photograph her. The two moved in together by the end of that year. However, their relationship faced problems when Derrick's affair with Bo Derrick came to light, leading to their separation on Christmas Day in 1973. Interestingly, the show shared the same setting and era as another TV show called Lancer, airing concurrently. Despite the differences in storyline, both shows depicted life in a similar time frame. Barbara Stanwyck, a key figure in the show, had a familial connection to it. Her older brother, Malcolm Byron Stevens, appeared in a minor role as a courtroom defense aide in the file on Thelma Jordan. These connections and personal stories add depth to the narrative of the show, enriching the viewer's experience of the characters and setting. Barbara Stanwyck, known as Missy or the Queen among her co-workers, was a prominent figure in the Big Valley. Peter Breck, despite his character's misfortune with a rabid wolf, faced his own challenges during filming due to a car accident, resulting in a significant injury to his left forearm. Meanwhile, James Whitmore shared the stage with his son in a production at the Peterborough Players Theatre, showcasing his versatility beyond the Big Valley. These actors brought depth and talent to the series, contributing to its lasting impact on television. In the series, Victoria's horse was known as Misty Girl, while Nick rode a horse named Coco. Lee Majors shared that he had a wonderful working relationship with Barbara Stanwyck on the show. Linda Evans, who portrayed Audra Barkley, mentioned that Stanwyck, who played her television mother, always referred to her as Audra even after the series concluded. She also noted that she learned much about acting from Stanwyck during their time together on the show. The jailhouse set in the Big Valley was the same one used in Gunsmoke. Peter Brick, a pivotal actor in the series, had a unique background. He was the son of a traveling jazz musician and was raised by his grandparents in Haverhill Mom. After serving in the U.S. Navy, he pursued his interest in acting, studying drama, and English at the University of Houston in Houston, TX. 
Breck honed his skills on stage, performing in theater productions at the Alley Theater before relocating to the Arena Theater in Washington, D.C. It was there that Robert Mitchum noticed him in George Bernard Shaw's play, Man of Destiny, and offered him a small role in his next film, Thunder Road. During the success of The Big Valley, there was a sad event happening off screen. Barbara Stanwyck, one of the main actors, went through a tough time. In 1966, her husband, Robert Taylor, passed away suddenly, bringing sadness to the show. Despite this loss, Stanwyck continued to show great professionalism and dedication to her work, making sure the show kept going. Her ability to push through such a heartbreaking event shows her strength and commitment to her job, leaving a lasting impression on the series and its viewers. Despite its successful run, The Big Valley has a tragic behind-the-scenes fact. During the filming of one episode, an accident resulted in the death of a stuntman. It was a sad reminder of the risks involved in the production of the show. The cast and crew deeply mourned the loss, and the incident cast a shadow over the otherwise lively atmosphere on set. The show, set in the Old West of the 19th century, followed the Barclay family as they faced various challenges to protect their ranch and uphold justice. It featured a talented ensemble cast, including Barbara Stanwyck, Linda Evans, and Lee Majors, who brought the characters to life. Throughout its run, it tackled issues of morality, family dynamics, and societal norms, presenting viewers with thought-provoking stories. The show continues to captivate audiences with its timeless themes and engaging storytelling, leaving a lasting impact on television. During the making of the series, there was a sad accident. Someone in the cast got hurt while filming a scene. It made everyone on set feel sad and reminded them how risky making TV can be. The show is about family and life in the Old West. It's set on a big ranch and follows a tough mom and her kids as they deal with frontier life. The characters are brought to life by a great cast. They make the story feel real and interesting. There are happy moments and tense ones too, and the actors make it all exciting to watch. Each episode brings action, drama, and suspense. The Barkley family faces lots of problems like thieves and fights over land. It keeps viewers interested every week. Despite the accident, people still love the series. They like the story and the characters. It shows how life was in the Wild West, and people enjoy that. In an episode of the show, a sad event happened during filming when an actor got seriously hurt while doing a stunt. This accident led to big changes in safety rules on set to avoid similar incidents in the future. The show had a great cast, including experienced actors like Barbara Stanwyck, Linda Evans, Lee Majors, and Peter Breck. They acted together to tell the story of the Barclay family's ups and downs in the Old West. The series showed the struggles of the Barclay family as they dealt with tough times like land fights, family conflicts, and the constant danger from outlaws. Despite the tough situations, the Barclays stayed strong, sticking together through thick and thin. During its time on air, the show gained a loyal group of fans and left a lasting mark on TV westerns. Its influence on the genre is clear, and people still love it years after it first aired. In a tragic twist within the 1965 TV series, a key character unexpectedly passed away, leaving viewers shocked. The sudden loss of this central figure deeply affected the storyline, changing how things unfolded. It made the narrative sadder, and the other characters had to deal with their grief and adjust to life without them. As the story progressed, the remaining characters struggled with their emotions, trying to come to terms with the loss and figuring out how to move forward. This sad event caused a shift in how the characters interacted with each other and dealt with the challenges they faced. The way this tragedy was handled in the show highlighted its commitment to portraying the harsh realities of life in the Old West. Instead of following a predictable path, the series explored the emotional side of things, showing the audience a more authentic and complex story. Overall, the unexpected loss in the series brought out its ability to tackle difficult subjects and add depth to the narrative, making it more engaging for viewers. Within the history of the Big Valley lies a summer note. Amidst the camaraderie of the cast, there existed a poignant fact Barbara Stanwyck, an integral part of the series, endured profound personal loss during its production. While filming, she lost her longtime partner, Robert Taylor, adding a layer of melancholy to the otherwise vibrant set. This poignant truth underscores the emotional depth of the series' journey, reminding us that even amidst the glitz of Hollywood, real-life tragedies can cast a shadow. Nestled within the world of 1960s TV, The Big Valley stood out as a Western show that left a lasting impression on its viewers. Amid ranching stories and family drama, a surprising fact emerges, casting a sad shadow over the series. 
The character of Tom Barkley, played by actor Tom Reese, met a sudden end during the show's run, leaving fans feeling somber. Tom Barkley, a key figure in the Barkley family, faced a tragic fate in the story. His character, full of promise, came to an abrupt stop, making viewers feel sorrowful. This unexpected turn added complexity to the show, showing the harsh and unpredictable nature of life in the Old West. As the Big Valley told its varied stories, the loss of Tom Barkley served as a reminder that tragedy could strike unexpectedly, even in seemingly peaceful settings. The show, though rooted in the Western genre, didn't shy away from exploring the tough realities and deep emotions of its characters' lives. In the Big Valley, the departure of Tom Barkley had an impact on the audience, showing how fragile life could be in the rugged American West of the 1960s. The series, known for its honest portrayal of the challenges faced by the Barkley family, showed the fragility of life against vast ranches and landscapes. So, within the show, the fate of Tom Barkley stands out as a sad moment that adds depth to the story. The show's willingness to deal with sorrow and loss, even in a Western setting, added to its lasting impact on TV dramas. In a surprising turn of events, a tragic incident occurred during the filming of The Big Valley. While shooting a scene for an episode, one of the horses used in the series suffered a fatal accident, leading to a somber atmosphere on set. Despite efforts to prevent such mishaps, this unfortunate event served as a reminder of the risks involved in filming. The loss was deeply felt by the cast and crew, emphasizing the unpredictable nature of working with animals on set. This incident left a lasting impact, highlighting the challenges faced behind the scenes of the beloved series. In its journey through television, the Big Valley encountered a shocking and tragic moment. During its production, the show faced the untimely death of actor Lee Major's father. Majors played Heath Barkley in the series. The sad event occurred while Majors was away shooting an episode, leaving him devastated upon his return. This unexpected loss cast a shadow over the production, showing the human side of the show and the personal struggles that sometimes come with entertainment. Despite the challenges behind the scenes, the Big Valley pressed forward with its storytelling. The show, set in the Old West and focusing on family dynamics, brought viewers into the lives of the Barkley family as they dealt with the challenges of the 19th century American frontier. With Barbara Stanwyck leading the cast as matriarch Victoria Barkley, the series explored themes of loyalty, justice, and survival. As the story unfolded, the characters faced various trials, echoing the harsh realities of the Old West. From property disputes to confrontations with bandits, their resilience and determination resonated with audiences. The series not only entertained, but also provided insight into the complexities of family relationships in a changing and challenging landscape. The show left a lasting impression on television history, showcasing the strength of family bonds against the backdrop of the untamed West. Its portrayal of the human experience, both on and off screen, contributed to the lasting impact of this classic TV series. In the history of TV, a sad moment stands out during the Big Valley. In the show's third season, something tragic happened. One of the main actors, Carlton Sturges, who was Barbara Stanwyck's brother, died suddenly from a heart attack. This was a shock to everyone on set. It reminded them that life is fragile, even in the glitzy world of Hollywood. But they didn't give up. They came together to keep making the show, honoring Carlton's memory with their work. In TV, unexpected events like this can really shake things up behind the scenes. Despite the loss, the Big Valley kept going, showing how people can be strong when things get tough. Carlton Sturges will always be remembered, both by his colleagues and in the episodes of the show that people still love to watch. In the history of TV, there's a sad story about the 1965 show The Big Valley. While the series was going strong with its story and characters, something really sad happened off camera. One of the main actors lost their spouse suddenly to an illness during filming. It was a shock for everyone involved in making the show. Despite the sadness, they kept going, showing how strong they were in tough times. This sad event reminds us how fragile life can be, even in the flashy world of TV. The Big Valley, a famous show set in the Old West, has a sad fact behind it. While it was loved by many and still remembered today, it had problems during filming. Barbara Stanwyck, who was a big part of the show, went through tough times while making it, including losing her husband. Despite these tough times, everyone worked hard to make the show good. The Big Valley shows how people can keep going even when things are hard, telling the story of a family in the Wild West. It's had a big effect on TV history and is remembered by many. It's a reminder that even when things are tough, you can still do great things. 
In one of the episodes of The Big Valley, tragedy struck unexpectedly when a stunt involving a horse went terribly wrong, resulting in the death of one of the show's stuntmen. It was a somber moment for the cast and crew, highlighting the risks involved in creating the action-packed scenes that brought the Wild West to life on screen. Moving beyond the entertainment aspect, The Big Valley delved into social issues of its time, such as gender roles and racial tensions. With strong female characters like Victoria Barkley portrayed by Barbara Stanwyck, the show challenged traditional notions of women's roles in society, depicting them as capable and independent individuals. Furthermore, the series explored the complexities of family dynamics, particularly the relationships between siblings. The interactions between characters like Jared, Nick, and Heath showcased the struggles and conflicts inherent in familial bonds, adding depth to the narrative. Despite its tragic moments and exploration of serious themes, The Big Valley also provided viewers with thrilling action sequences and dramatic storylines set against the backdrop of the Old West. Its blend of entertainment and social commentary made it a memorable addition to the television landscape of its time. In an unexpected turn, tragedy struck the production of The Big Valley when beloved actor Charles Bryles, who portrayed Eugene Barkley, departed the series after just one season. Bryles' departure from the show left fans surprised and saddened as his character held a significant role within the Barkley family dynamic. Despite his short-lived tenure on the series, Bryles' impact was felt by viewers and his absence marked a poignant moment in the show's history. In a surprising turn, The Big Valley faced a tragic loss during its production. One of its main cast members, Barbara Stanwyck's husband, suffered a fatal heart attack on set. This devastating incident deeply affected the cast and crew, leaving a somber atmosphere for some time. The show delved into various themes, including family dynamics, societal issues, and life in the Old West. Set in California during the late 19th century, it followed the Barkley family as they dealt with challenges like land disputes, outlaws, and personal conflicts. Starring Barbara Stanwyck as the resilient matriarch Victoria Barkley, it also featured talented actors such as Richard Long, Lee Majors, Linda Evans, and Peter Breck. Each character added depth to the story. Despite facing tragedies and setbacks, The Big Valley remained beloved, captivating audiences with its compelling stories and memorable characters. Its significance in television history remains notable, showcasing the appeal of well-told stories and strong performances.